It's all unravelling, isn't it? Well, let's, let's not mess about with this one. Marlene Headley, or her culturally appropriated name, Ngozi Fulani. Ngozi, a Nigerian name, and Fulani, which is also the name of an empire, is actually of Caribbean heritage, not African, as her stage name would suggest, and possibly why she got so agitated when asked the simple question as to where she was from. Marlene, after being invited to the palace, has accepted Lady Hussey's apology. How very magnanimous of her. In a joint statement, the meeting was described as warm and understanding. Perhaps now Ngozi can also do the right thing and apologise to Lady Hussey for making a mountain out of a molehill when she chose to contact the world and his dog about this non-event, an event that apparently she didn't actually get a direct invite to. I doubt it. It stated that Miss Fulani, who has unfairly received the most appalling torrent of abuse on social media and elsewhere, has accepted this apology and appreciates that no malice was intended. It went on to say, the royal households will continue their focus on inclusion and diversity with an enhanced programme of work which will extend knowledge and training programmes examining what can be learned from Sister Space and ensuring these reach all members of their communities. You'd think that the uh, charity boss would now do the right thing and call for Lady Hussey to get her job back. After all, she claimed that uh, she didn't want her to lose it in the first place. Although, I suspect Lady Hussey has lost the appetite for this role now, given that her intrigue can be so easily misinterpreted and used against her. The statement read, Both Miss Fulani and Lady Susan ask now that they be left in peace to rebuild their lives in the wake of an immensely distressing period for them both. Yeah... I bet in case he wants that. Interesting that she's calling for that now and didn't take this approach at the start, which I imagine would have been the palace's approach. You'd think anyone with a charitable nature would have. It read that they hope that their example shows a path to resolution that can be found with kindness, cooperation and the condemnation of discrimination wherever it takes root. But unfortunately for Ngozi, her haste in telling the world has firmly drawn the spotlight onto her charity, Sister Space. And let's hope that for her sake, it's all above board. She's currently been investigated by the GLA for funding received to the tune of around about £60,000. I await the findings with bated breath. You see, the trouble with the media is that it has a habit of backfiring on you, especially when you try to use it for your own ends, as our clearly unhappy, paranoid-ridden couple H and M have found. Now, what should have happened was that the palace should have supported Lady Hussey's 60 years of service. They should have uncovered the truth about this incident rather than giving oxygen to a woke mentality that punishes language and ignores intent. Especially a conversation based on a single unchallenged transcript created by the accuser herself. The palace did what they normally do. Never complain, never explain. They gave in to what is, in my view, narcissism. They gave in to it with kindness and immediately extended the olive branch to Ngozi, a kindness that did not appear to be extended to Lady Hussey. But the problem with giving in to narcissism with kindness is that the narcissist takes advantage of kindness and will chuck it back in your face. Look at Harry and Meghan. Kindness is never rewarded by the narcissist. I'm afraid if you open the door to this, anyone can be punished for anything or nothing at all.